Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbro's Gaming Channel. I'm the dude. We're about to play the original, the best colony survival, Rimworld. It's been a few years since I've played this game, guys. Uh, so there's been there's probably been a lot of changes. Um, oh look at these. Something this down here as well. Different mods you can play. Obviously you got a tutorial you can do, but this is where it all began for me on you know just a different level of game. So, let's go. Crash landed sounds like a way I want to play. Um, we get three people, which we can select. The three of you awake in your cryo sleep, or crypto sleep, sarcophagy, sarcophagy. <laughs> oh my god, to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Some time later, you land on this unknown rim world. Sarko Faggy, what on earth? <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to restart it. Your faction will be a new arrivals. Start with three people. Start with silver, 800, package survival, mill, 50, medicine, and all these jazz. Okay, so we do get some weapons and bits and pieces. The map is scattered with ship chunks, steel, package survival meals okay so these will be on the map obviously we get to choose our starting location as well so there are other ways you can start you know you can naked brutality you can have one person really hard I've not oh, I don't think I've played much of it you're the rich explorer five lost tribes people but I like the crash landed game um, there is mod a lot of mods for this game I think there's even a Warhammer 40,000 one where you can play as the Imperium. Okay, so we get to pick a storyteller for this game. So this is who will affect the game for us. So it's very random. Every game's going to be different. Uh, the AI storyteller creates events like pirate raids, resource drops, or animal attacks. Their choices will affect the story of your colony. You can change these settings at any time. So, you know, we got the AI Cassandra classic so Cassandra creates story events on a classic increasing curve of challenge and tension she'll push you with dangerous events then give you breathing room then come back to push once more obviously you can pick different difficulties of how she tells her story you got Phoebe Chillax Phoebe gives lots of time between disasters to build your colony, but beware, at high difficulty, she'll hit as hard as anyone. Again, you can pick your difficulty. And then you've got Randy Random. Randy doesn't follow rules. He'll generate random events, and he doesn't care if they make a story or of triumph or utter hopelessness. It's all drama to him. Warning, since Randy is truly random, he will sometimes send extremely difficult or unfair groups of events at you. It makes for high drama and unavoidable sacrifices. This is the one I like to play at because it's just so anything can happen. And I like that. So we'll go with Randy Random. And we're going to pick a difficulty. Experienced strategy gamers on their first game of RimWorld. No. Strive to survive on a rough, tough planet. There will be triumph and tragedy. Experienced players who want a rough story requiring skill to survive I think that's where we want to be we're kind of like a normal difficulty at this point um, for us and I'm I don't think it's good to go too crazy um, this setting is designed to be unfair here yeah, strive to survive I think we'll go with that choose oh hang on wait a commitment Choose commitment mode or reload anytime. What does this mean? You can save and load the game anytime. You can only save when quitting the game. Since Rimworld is a story generator, even losing all but one person is not the end of the game. It's part of the story. The game is designed to allow recovery after losses. Playing out these terrible situations makes a story with both tragedy and triumph. It's the way it was designed to be played. So we're going to go with commitment mode. Okay. Generate world. 
Seed. Cliff. Random traders. Do these mean anything? So if I was to put in Gilbros, what's that going to give us? No one knows. Overall rainfall, normal. Temperature, normal. Population, normal. Globe, coverage. The planet is always the same diameter. But since it's far larger than needed for play, we don't generate the whole surface because it could take a very long time. This is the percentage of the surface that you want generated. I think 30% will do. And then you've got all these factions. We can add factions in. But we're going to have Outlander, Rough Outlander, Gentle Tribe, Fierce Tribe, Savage Tribe, Pirate Gang, Mechanoid Hive, Insect Gene Line. So if we wanted to add something, it would be adding this more of the same. Okay. Uh, we're going to go with core because that's what we've got. I've, well, I don't think we actually get to pick that. Okay, here you go. You can see Cannon Village faction, the Red Frogs. Distan. So what we need to do is we need to pick a place to live. I like nice fertile ground and we want some mountains in order for us to get digging. I like digging in the mountains. So we zoom in with our mouse wheel. We want to be near enough water but you also want some of these mountains in there for resources. Probably not to be totally surrounded by mountains though, right? Um, if I was to pick this one, temperate forest. Large hills, movement difficulty 2.5, temperature uh, minus 6 to 27. That's not outrageous. So, are these all just forests? Are they mountains at all? I think they are. How do I see what kind of... Oh, there we go. Terrain. Forageability, 100%. Berries. Animals can graze, yes. Average disease, 1.2 per year. Time zone, plus one. Rainfall. Temperature, growing period. Hmm. Limestone, sandstone, and slate. I think that's what I usually look for, or used to look for. Marble is something I like to have a lot of. Um, marble and granite. Marble, sandstone, slate. Oh man, I can't remember what. Limestone, granite, and marble. I don't think you're going to see any of like sort of like other things. I want to be on the river if possible. Limestone, sandstone, slate. No, I want marble for sure. So this gives us the best thing. We're going to be looking at 100% berries. 30. We get a little bit less fertility here though temperature is slightly colder small hills large hills this side of the river we get more fertility And a river. I kind of want a river. We'll go with this one. River seems to make sense to me. Okay. So now we get to pick some people. I think you can actually make your own people. I might be wrong. Randomize. So we get to choose from all of these. Chiyoko. Female, age 53. We get to look at their stats. So, childhood, sickly child, navy scientist. And they've got a scar, so it hurts already. We kind of want to avoid things like this because they're going to grow to be in pain. So, I'm going to 
I'm going to bring them away. Old gunshot. Let's have a look at the skills first. We definitely want someone good at construction. This mining is good and crafting. So this person's pretty good. Intellectual. And they got fires next to them, which means they're, you know, they've got extra learning. Uh, scrounger. Dive into junk. And an itchy scar. This person's not bad. Vargas. No. We'll keep Bryn. Shooting. Melee. This we need a fighter. And construction's not too bad. Um their daughter is Chioko. And Stevie. Steven. The daughter Steven. Stevie. Oh man, they got they got some skills, but look at how many problems they come with. But wow. Mm -hmm. You got a medic and a reasonable skilled person here. Corporate manager. No health conditions. This person is not bad. Bring this one up here. Grief. New aged duelist. This one's medical as well. We've got our medical, haven't we? Medical, social, and a fighter. This one's mining, crafting, and intellectual. Is there someone with even better fighting skills? I mean, you could probably get away with not having loads more. Glitter World Nerd. Crafting intellectual plus five. Hmm. Shooting free. You got mining, cooking, plants, animals, crafting, intellectual. No ill health conditions. This person's got a scar. See, we might have to replace Bryn here because we've got better intellectual. Oh, stab scar. Hmm. Shooting melee. Mercenary pilot shooting melee construction. Traits pyromaniac. Every now and then, he will never extinguish fires, and they'll sometimes start fires. Chemical interest. This could be a problem for drugs. Cannibal. Oh no, we don't want a cannibal. Psychic sensitivity is not good. Incapable of dumb labor. You got there's a lot of things to look over here. <sighs> But we'll take Hans. We'll take Hans. Where is this Hans? Erisen and Kerr. I think this is... And this gives you your team skills. So we've got no one that's actually very good at cooking. No one that's amazing at mining. We can learn skills, so it's not the end of the world. But we do actually start with quite a lot of skills going. So we'll start with these guys. And see how we get on. Okay, the three of you awake in your <laughs> crypto sleeve sarcophagi. Uh, the sound of a siren ripping them metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Mm -hmm. Here we are. It is 2D. We'll zoom in a little bit. Now, we double click these. We actually can allow them to take it, okay? We want... If you don't allow them, they won't take it. Right, so Hans, we're going to click on Hans first of all. We're going to get him to equip the gun. Arison, I think. And then, I think she's good with this. 
got to allow everything so that they can actually eat and the lot. So, right, you've got the gun. I'm going to equip the knife on you. God, it's been so long. I've got to try and remember everything. Allow it all. Okay. So, if I remember rightly, we need to place... No, we don't. We need to put a zone down. We need a stockpile zone. So. In this stockpile, we can set what we want to put in there. So you push on here, and it will just put everything in there at the moment. So at least we'll have everything going there. Just like any of the other games we've played. Um, you never did put these on. I want everyone to have a little bit of armour on, or can you wear them? Oh, there we go. Just a bit of armour. Very slow. Mm. Okay. Structure. So, we're going to want to build walls and start getting some sort of building going. So, where do we want to build? I guess we just build here and see how things go. So I'm going to map it out. So we click on wall. You can change the materials of the walls. It's quite big for a start. Um, a couple of doors in. Smooth the walls. We're probably going to need flooring and. Do do. some floor in there it's going to be lovely okay so zone no production no orders that'll be the one chop wood so they can go and chop all the trees from around the area these guys will get to work lovely Is this our dog? Um, yeah, I think this is this is ours. Ooh, we've got a dog, so we're going to need to keep that happy as well. So we need to eat and everything else. Medicine. We'll deconstruct this. Harvest all of those. Um, we want to be looking for berries. Start getting some food logged in. This is like medicine. Right. As I say, their skills will increase as you're doing things. I feel like we need a wood floor under these doors as well. Doesn't feel right without it. Okay. We'll put down some sleeping spots. We're going to need a pet bed as well at some point. So an animal bed, animal box. Okay, we'll make sure we got one. Try and keep it happy if we can. Fed. Cancel that one. We'll get wall torch lamps. Keep them out of the way, won't it? Mm. 
You have to monitor their happiness and pretty much everything about them. Uh, there's, it's quite in depth. You can kind of do anything you want. If you want to become an illegal organ trader, anyone that comes to you, kill them, take their organs, sell them, slave trader, all sorts of different things. You can do like anything. It's crazy. Arms dealer. Alright. Right, so we got these bed spots. I'm going to put one, I'm going to set an owner. This one's got no owner. Cool. We can also do one for prisoners, which might come in handy at some point. You can turn prisoners into allies. You can break them. Now you can speed up the game. I usually like to play a bit faster, because it can be a little slow. Just watch them do things. On this panel, we can set what we want our people to do. So at the moment, they're all sort of cleaning, hauling. One of them can't do dumb labor, so they're not gonna do cleaning or hauling, but they are the intellectual that'll do other things. It's all set at the moment. We can change it how we want it. Um, but at the moment, I'm just gonna leave it until we start getting a bit more difficult, and then we'll, we'll change it up the way we need to change it. We've got to put a roof on here as well. Don't forget that. Ornate door. Is it a zone? Cool, blimey, trying to remember all this. Build roof area. There we go. That's already got one on there, so that's alright. Maybe that wasn't an update. I don't know. Okay looking good so what I might do is set another little work area or zone stockpile and on this one I'm going to change the storage options so clear all only foods I'm going to allow food Just to be inside at the moment. Set owner. Too large for that. Oh. I'll deconstruct that then. What else? Do I need one of these? Is it a bit bigger? Fits any animal. Oh, we don't have any cloth, so what we'll do is we'll put an animal sleeping spot. I'll just have to sleep on the floor. Set the owner. Boom. Nice. Right. We're going to need workbenches. So if we look at production, we've got crafting spots, simple items like knives or bows, and it's slow. So you really want like a crafting table and stuff. But what we'll do. Mm -mm. he says there isn't actually make add a bill to add what we need so in here well this is different to me I'm going to get him to make a bow. I'm going to get hold that metal slag out of here as well. Because it's ruining the base. I need people to clean. Look at the state of the floors already. It's crazy. This, this sort of stuff you need to keep on top of. You need to make sure it's all clean. Everything's good at all times.
do is in here we we'll start some production I'm gonna get a butchering spot if we can get a butcher's table might be more useful and then we can make a little zone here and uh, with this one I'm going to clear all allow fresh and I'm going to look into foods. Is it on there? No, it's not. It's corpses. Well, we we'll allow fresh corpses to go in here for the butcher. Now, things we can do as well at these workstations, you want to be thinking about chairs. So, we'll get a wooden dining chair. And where people have to stand and work, give them a chair because that will help them with their comfort while they're working there we go we made it our steel okay we've got to probably change all that all right so we'll add a bill butcher creature do forever okay cool now we have a place to do that and then we're going to want a kitchen so again, I like to put everything in separate, separate wall uh, rooms. So um, we don't want to have the butcher's room anywhere near the food because that's how you get like upset tummies. I don't really want to have all one way. Put that in there. Door in there. Get a floor. Wooden floor in there. Lovely. That's lovely. Put a roof over the top. Looking good. So then we can look at production. We're going to want a kitchen thing. It might be a campfire. I don't know if it's going to be under here or if it's. It's been a while. Cook some meals. Probably just put this outside for now, to be honest with you. But this will be the kitchen once once we're done. Got a wall torch in there. There we go. So we can add a bill to the fire as well. So we want to be cooking simple meals and do forever. So whenever we get some meat or anything like that, they can someone can make a meal. Nice. As you can see, we gathered some herbs. We've now made a bow. So we're going to give that bow to. Is it Kerr? Yeah. They're going to get that when they wake up. We'll give them the bow so that we're a little bit more defensible. Oh, I love this game. This is great. We look out. This is our map. Ooh, what is that? So you've got all the wild animals that you can hunt got berries obviously that you can go and get which we've already got people going to do which is something we probably need to look at because we need them to gather and hunt and everything so we've got a hunter which is Hans because well, it makes sense he's got the gun plant cut plant relevant skill for I'm going to change that I mean I'll give him that but we can actually do manual priorities so we can set who we want to do it first so we can set a number one to five but like on bell right it's got a skill four so we can say yeah you craft as well we don't want to give them too many jobs we get stressed out because they'll just never stop He's eating the meals. Good. Okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to set these up for hunting. We're going to grab Kerr. Ah. Come here. Equip the short bow. 
No, uh, they're gonna drop the knife, but I think I'd rather have everyone with a ranged weapon. Hans is gonna go out on hunt. He'll bring the bodies back. He should dump them in here. Yeah, good. And then they're in there with the butcher's table. And you don't want people seeing dead bodies all the time as well, because that can really play on their mental health. It sounds crazy, but it does. So they're gonna Kerr's gonna start cooking and make some simple meals. Which is we're gonna have to look into refrigeration as soon as we can. Now, one thing you can do is dig into the mountain and put your food in there. It's gonna be a bit cooler inside there. At the moment we're looking at what does it say degrees? Indoors, 23 degrees. Outside is 18. We are gonna need to look into that. And we want to make some beds as well, don't we? I mean, this, we want individual rooms. Everyone's going to need a room as well. So I'm going to get orders. We're going to get them to mine. I'm going to make a room inside here so our food keeps a little better, hopefully. I don't know who our miner is. We have one. Erison is going to be our miner. Okay. So she's going to slowly work on that. Start digging away. She'll get better and better as she goes. We've got no room in our storage. So let's look at that. We can now expand the zone. I'm going to do that. Just to give us a bit more space. We're going to want to bring... Um, bits and pieces inside... Probably. I mean, we've got our medicine sitting out there. I don't think it's the end of the world, but I'd rather it be inside. What else can we make here? We can make clubs, tribal wear, make veil. We can smash mechanoid into different bits, so that could be useful. We'll leave that point there. Solar flare. So your warnings come up on the right hand side and they give you that little noise. So that'll scare you up. Uh, the intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices. It'll last about a day. So it just tells you what's going on. At the moment we don't have any electrical devices so we ain't really got to worry about it. But um, as we progress we certainly will. Psychic Soothe. So, a Psychic Soothe. It just makes them a little bit more content with life. And so this is going to affect all the males. Um, it, it just pleases them. You get also, it goes negative ones happen as well. So it'll just make them worse off. But it's always good to have a soothing one. Get some berries in. There's walls. Holy poop, there's walls. Um, okay, so walls inside a mountain could mean ancient vaults and stuff like that. It could be dangerous. We'll get him out hunting. Make sure everyone eats. some berries definitely need to upgrade the bed situation so what we'll do is we'll start building we've got enough wood sitting around perhaps um, Don't want to go through here, do I? So we'll put the door to this one. I'm just gonna have to walk around all the time. It's gonna be annoying for me. No, 
that's not the end of the world. We'll put it there and come in the back here. Right, need recreation variety. So we do need to look at that. Now one thing you can do is give them games to play. It's like this for instance. Shoe horses. Horseshoes. Shoe horses. <laughs> I don't know where I am today guys, I'm sorry. And it's just something for them to play. Take their mind off things and just be a little better for them. There we go. Let's get the roofing zone done. Boom. And we'll get some torches. And this is going to be one room each. Quite a spacious room we're starting off with as well, so I'm quite happy with that. The pet can stay in here. I don't think they have any mood debuffs by being in public areas. And once we clear this room out, we'll be able to put down like a table, chairs for them to eat at, because that also gives them a little boost. What materials do I need? Wood, just, just wood for that. Okay. I'll make sure we're getting enough wood in as well. Uh oh, ancient danger. So we'll jump to the location. That's what this wall is. We do not want to be going in there. Hell no. So we'll mine around it, but we're going to try and be really careful not to actually put a hole in this wall. He's still going around. Um, we've got these urns we can go take. Sandstone columns. I'll go take stuff like that. What the heck was that? A flash storm. We've got some steel as well. What I'm going to do is deconstruct all of this on that steel. Be careful out there, man. But you've got your turkey prize. Good stuff. Bill forever, yeah. Just making sure. Good. As we go, we're going to need a lot more space for our stuff. As you see, all these rocks and stuff, they get on my nerves. So I'm going to set a zone down for. Hmm. I will make it a dumping zone. Now, this is where you put all your trash, and all the rocks will go there as well. So we'll pop that up here. You can change what goes in there as well. Worthwhile. Worth noting. Well, we will actually take corpses off in here and we'll put a little um, zone down for dumping up here. Now, what we'll do with that one is we're not going to put chunks. We'll go all the way to the top of the food. And we're not going to allow fresh. We're going to allow rotten corpses. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, we only want the rotten stuff going over there. So, all of these, we're going to haul them. And I'll start taking them all to the zone and get them out of my way. Lovely. Right, start putting the furniture in. Now for bedrooms, I mean if you can afford it, go for the go for the really good stuff. Right. We're just going to go cheap and cheerful for now. They're going to have a wall torch. Obviously, you can get bookcases and stuff like that, so this will please them. And then 
Give him a chair. I'd like to give him a table as well. Let's give him a little table. You've got end table. They can always go to their rooms then and be happy. Once we get this all done, we'll smooth out the walls and that just increases its beauty a little bit so it's not so ugly because even that will affect what people think and how they react to things so um, yeah we'll make sure that all looks okay so that they don't have a breakdown every time they look at it mm -hmm. oh, there's a bunny all the way over there we'll hunt that one these things blow up so be careful of the boom rats that fire is kind of out of control Ooh, meals. It's raining. Thank goodness. I should put it out. Just looking for little critters at the moment, like this. While we're low skill, something to raise our skill on. Put that in there. Is that because of that stuff that's sitting in there? Mm -hmm. Everywhere, unless the chair is on it. Interesting. We'll move that. We'll get that to be done next. Need to go and move that. Thank you very much. Looks good to me. Let's get a little chair. There we go. So we'll have a fueled stove. We'll do our cooking in there. And probably a bit, a bit quicker than the fireplace outside. Cannot work on it. Need ten wood for that. Hey, so it looks like you're here for a while. Kerr thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Gilbert thinks you should give this settlement a name. Yeah, we all know it. Marvellous. Okay, Hans is busy over there. We're going to get that horseshoe thing done quite soon. Um, this person's going to end up being our major skills. What's your current mining skill? At three. So that's going to go up and up and up. So we'll just keep them mining for a bit. Currently going to be getting us some steel. So, not all bad. Right, so, what are we making the beds out of steel? Ah, silly. Her uh, gets the biggest room. Happy days. Uh, right. So we've got no owners for these. We'll keep the spare sleeping spots at the moment. Oh, actually, no, we'll get rid of this one. 
open this one. I'm going to put a little zone down. Stockpile. Just there. And this can be can clear all. Uh, manufactured medicine. Medicine and drugs. And if we take the medicine and drugs off this one, then we're good. They'll bring them all inside. Happy days. Things are looking good. But I'm going to leave that one here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And we'll be back with the next episode next week. Thank you very much, guys. Please take care. Dude is out.